Hello, uh, I just bought my bear bow and some shafts for it uh, and now I have to tune my bow for it. Uh, so I'll be doing some uh, close ranged um, bear shaft tuning. So I have these arrows I bought from uh, Linkboy. These, my webs. I have three shafted, uh, fully, sh uh, fully fletched and I got two, uh, two bear shafts. So I just bought the 24 arrows and then I stripped off the uh, the fletching of two of them. So that's pretty easy. So you have to refletch those when you're done. Uh, I'm I'm assuming that my uh, spine 500 with the uh, with the 80 grain tips and 30.5 inch shaft should be a little bit stiff. So uh, let's see if they're actually a bit stiff or whatever. I'm hoping they're stiff because if it's easier to change a stiff uh, shaft and increase the the tip tension or sorry the tip weight um, to soften up the spine. That's easier than going down. So yeah, let's see. So here's a little bit about the specs of my arrow and later I'll do my bow. It has a it has a knock with a pin knock. It has a three inch uh, feathers, turkey feathers, two yellow and one black. It's a uh, it's a VAP. Uh, yeah, VAP V1, uh, 0.16 spine, 500, and it's a uh, 30.5 inches long, and it has an 80 grain tip. Here's the bow. Has a tip protector. Focus, there we go, has a tip protector, it's a Bernardini, Bernardini, uh, now known as Sprigielli I think, older riser, it's a Nilo, it's 25 inches, has the uh, sniper rest, very happy about that, uh, it's a drop away sniper rest has a mighty plunger from Win and Win. Uh, I picked the mighty plunger because it's uh, it's not as steep as the others. You can see here it's barely coming off the the riser, so it's easier to use for me. And yeah, got some border hex five limbs. It's thirty eight pounds at 68 uh, inch bow. The bow is 68 inch, so it's medium limbs and it's 25 inch riser. Yeah, stuffed out with the in, in riser weights and some uh, external riser, uh, sorry, ex external weights here and here. So yeah, these are just for the limb bolts. They're not weights, they're just they're just there to protect the threats. So yeah, I love the bow. It shoots like a dream. It's elder, it's old technology, almost ancient. It's from around 2009, but it's pretty fast. Uh, I haven't measured with these arrows, but I was getting 170 FPS with uh, uh, 34, yeah, 34 grams arrow. I think that's about 520, uh, 520 uh, grains. So yeah, love it. Shoots great. All right, guys. Um, I've been trying to set up this uh, bear bow, uh, and now I got my arrows and my new sh uh, rest for it. It's a it's a sniper rest. So it's a drop down. Uh, let's see if we can focus. There we go. So I can actually uh, lift this up like that. Now it's uh, loaded and ready to shoot. And as uh, the arrows go down, it's going to push down and it's going to click off. So yeah, like that. I set up my, my center shot uh, like this and um, found my, uh, my plunger uh, deftness. So when you're setting up a center shot, you want to line up the string in the middle of the bow. Uh, 
and then you want the tip of the arrow just just over there so you don't want it covered by the string you want it just the tip of the arrow you just want it just ever so slightly on the on the right side if you're a right-handed uh, archer so yeah uh, that was pretty easy now i have to find out if my uh, if my uh, my knock points are too low or too high i'm expecting them to be a little bit uh, high maybe yeah but we'll see uh, i'm gonna tune for 50 yards and then hope it's uh, make sure or not hope make sure that it's uh, pretty decent for shorter range too because i'll be shooting anything between uh, five meters and uh, 45 meters so i'm gonna tune for the long uh, longer shoots because uh, I'm gonna pick up some points there. I'd rather pick up some, some nice uh, 11 points, 10 points at uh, 45 meters rather than shooting uh, solid 10s or 8s uh, at, uh, at 5 meters because most targets are gonna be 20 something. Also, if if your tune is working at 50, it's gonna work at 10 too. It's just about finding your crawl and, and uh, make sure that once you get close that you don't uh, you don't have something set up so you're shooting diagonal you know, instead of uh, horizontal no sorry uh, yeah so uh, yeah let's uh, make sure it works at uh, both uh, 10 and 50 yards okay so I just uh, shot uh, the five arrows the three fledged arrows and two unfledged arrows at, uh, at 20 meters so I'm gonna go down and check out uh, how they impacted to do some readings and what I have to do. So I'm expecting the the bear shaft to go uh, left, left of the uh, of the fletched arrows, because I'm expecting it to be a bit um, a bit stiff. But let's see. Uh, I can see now that they are not actually. They are going right of the fletched arrows meaning they are a bit uh, weak, sadly. Um, but I think this is uh, so little that I can fix that by changing the plunder tension. Uh, but it would be better to have uh, a slightly stiffer arrow. What I could do was I could... Well, I can't... Uh, I, I can shorten down the arrows, but I don't feel like doing that because that's going to increase my, uh, my point on... Um, Let's see when I get to, to 50 meters uh, what my crawl is. Maybe I, I can take an inch off and go down to 29.5 and that would be very easy to do. So just cut the arrow and glue in the tips again. Uh, but maybe I can do it with the plunger tension. But yeah, so I want to move these. They're impacting over here, means they are uh, weak. And I want to move them over here and maybe a little bit down. But do one axis at a time. Don't change both, both uh, X and Y at the same time. One at a time, because sometimes they line out. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna increase my plunger tension and see how it works. Well, so we just shot another uh, another few arrows here. Uh, again, three fletched and uh, two unfledged arrows for my bear, bear shaft uh, tuning, uh, 20 yards. So I'm gonna go down range and see if the plunger tension did anything. I was actually uh, all the way out uh, on the tension on the plunger using the medium spring and I just tighten it uh, all the way in and then uh, one turn out. So I can't actually move my uh, tension any further without going uh, for a, a stiffer spring. But again, it's a medium spring, so I can go for uh, a heavy spring and just uh, try and work that way out. Uh, or I could uh, cut down the arrows. But I can see the result here. That's pretty cool. Uh, both back shafts are a bit high compared to the others. Uh, one is a bit uh, sideways, indicating still a slightly uh, too weak arrow. But I think I'm gonna go with this because I'm not a pro shooter, and um, this this looks pretty good. Uh, I I can't do better than that. Uh, I think the rest is down to shooter, to me, uh, to the archer. So yeah, I'm gonna move out a bit, see if uh, if they spread out again, and uh, yeah, go chase my crawl. Uh, currently, I'm aiming uh, down here at this point, 
with my point on. So it's actually a little bit left, but both are. I can change that by moving the rest a little bit, uh, moving everything to one side, including my bear shafts. So, but this uh, this looks pretty good. I'm happy with this. Uh, it's very very quiet wind today, so uh, it's ideal to to um, to tune arrows today. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm also aiming with the one eye closed uh, at the moment uh, to to make it as uh, tight as possible. But I'd like to shoot with both eyes open uh, usually, so I think I'm gonna set up for for that. I need to go down to 50 meters and see if uh, if I can aim with both eyes open and the small arrows, or if it gets too much out of focus. Uh, I guess I'll see when I get down to 50. Okay, so I've just been shooting a bit at uh, 30 yards, uh, just to make sure that my uh, crawl wasn't all the way off, and it looks it looks good. Uh, it makes sense, uh, so it's easy to to find the crawls, and I'm not getting a lot of uh, a lot of uh, bad readings either. So that's pretty cool. Um, I was noticing that my uh, my fletching had the impact on the rest, so I actually uh, read uh, earlier today that. It could be a, an idea to uh, uh, usually you'd have your fletching like uh, this on your uh, recurve, so I changed to have it like that uh, on my rest. Um, and now I'm reading no impacts, uh, sorry, no fletching contact. Uh, and my groups just got a little bit tighter. I noticed some spreading out, and maybe it's the crawl uh, making that I get uh, fletching contact. So um, yeah, I made the inverted Y. Uh, well, I made it the Y um, with my uh, hen feathers and then my uh, my cock feather going down. And uh, yeah, getting good reads now. Uh, they're spreading out there. They're getting tight again. That's, that's cool. So that's something to worry about. Uh, well, pay attention to at least uh, when you're bear chef tuning that you might get some um, some uh, some contact unwanted contact with your fletching so yeah, just think about it. okay so i just uh, finished the uh, bear shift tuning my uh, my arrows um i think this uh, went pretty well uh, felt good i've been uh, i've been tuning for about uh, what time is it so i've been tuning for about an hour uh, including setting up my recurve, uh, barebow, uh, the sniper rest, and some weights, and just whatever string was following. I think it's, um, it's some Flemish, uh, Flemish twist thing. So, uh, the last about 45 minutes I've been barebow, uh, bare shaft tuning, and I'm doing the walk back now. So I installed a mighty plunger from uh, Win and Win, and I got the sniper rest. And this is this is 40 yards, sorry, 40 meters. So that's uh, I'm pretty happy with that. That target face is the 40 centimeters, so that's uh, that's actually the the 18 yard, uh, sorry, 18 meters um, target face. Uh, but it was what was at the. Uh, at the the target, uh, so yeah, the black thing is uh, this uh, this here. That's ninety centimeters, and again ninety centimeters here. Uh, and this target face is yeah forty centimeters wa. So that's I'm pretty happy with this. And you can see here's my uh, my bear shaft. I had to increase my plunger tension uh, because the the arrows was coming out uh, weak. So uh, yeah, I thought the 500 uh, VAPs uh, would do it because my 600 uh, spined 32 inch shafts were coming out. Uh, a little bit stiff actually 
so I thought I'd rather, uh, sorry, a little bit weak, and I thought I'd go with a bit uh, stiffer and then tune down. I'd rather have stiff shafts and tune them than having soft uh, shafts, because I could just increase the the tip the tip weight uh, instead of these. I could add like hundreds or hundred and twenties. These are eighties. Zoom. Oh, focus. Focus. Eh. Well, I'm trying guys. Give me a second. Okay, so I can't focus on this arrow tip. Sorry. Anyways, um, how's this? Is this better? Yeah, there we go. So this is uh, this is 80 grains tip. Uh, has breaks off, but yeah. So I went with the with the stiffer shaft to uh, to make it so I could just change the tip weight to uh, soften up the dynam the dynamic spine. But it actually came out weak, even though it's 30.5 inches web um, spine 500, and my uh, limbs are. Uh, uh, 38 pounds so I'm surprised they're actually coming out weak but they are border hex 5 limps so I guess they're just increasing some speed or something uh, I guess maybe I mean it wasn't bad my my chef were hitting out here uh, in this area so I was shooting twos and ones and then I increased my plunder tension uh, and I moved the shaft over here this is uh, this is my point on that 40 uh, and I'm I'm crawling about one quarter of an inch uh, down the string maybe so I guess about if I go point on and move my crawl to directly under the arrow I might have point on at 50 um, and I uh, I corner with my uh, I anchor with my index finger in my uh, uh, corner of my mouth so yeah okay so I found my uh, my crawl at well 40 yards because that's what I can shoot my uh, backyard here uh, I'm gonna find my 50 crawl uh, some other day uh, Thursday maybe uh, but I'm gonna go back down to to 10 yards and uh, see if uh, everything is still in line and if everything is tuning good so uh, yeah let's see Okay, so I just did my uh, my 10 meter checkup, and I was I don't know I, was, I wasn't I didn't have a crawl per se, so I just uh, just kind of winged it, and it seems I need to go a little bit further down. Uh, I'm not I don't have to crawl as much as I thought I would have to, uh, which is uh, cool because I don't like a lot of crawl. Uh, this is a 10 yards and. Um, I'm using my uh, this tab here, the uh, Black Widow tab. It doesn't really have any indications. I can count the stitchings over here, but I'm not. I'm going for the the split leather pieces, and I'm not. I don't think this is actually legal in uh, in, ba in Babro. I'm not sure, but uh, my uh, my crawl here was uh, in the middle of the middle piece, so. Yeah, uh, right about there. You can see it's a bit flayed on the string there. But uh, yeah, I guess my crawl needs to, since I have to go a bit up the string, I need to raise it a little bit. So I have, probably have to go to, I don't know, uh, one third of the middle tap. But we'll see. But uh, it looks like it's still pretty much uh, in line. Uh, the bear shafts showing a little knock high uh, which is uh, which is fine since uh, it's a 50 yard tune uh, could be my release too or maybe the the sniper wasn't uh, releasing proper i don't know but uh, i'm happy with this